Hey, welcome back everyone, nice to see you again. Um, today we're going to do a bit of a fish room update. Um, I've got some work planned, I've got some stuff being delivered, just waiting for that now. Um, we're going to move some tanks around, we're going to get some new racking in, we're going to reorganise a little bit, make the space a bit more user friendly, a bit of a nicer place to be if I'm honest. Um, but before that, and while I'm waiting for my delivery, a package has arrived. Now this is something that has come from Someone that commented in one of my videos, the Santa Monica Filtration Company, they sent me through a couple of messages saying that they want to test out some of their gear. I gave the same reply that I give to everyone that sent me messages wanting to give me stuff. I'm more than happy to review anything at all, but if I think it's shit, I'm going to say it's shit. So you'd be surprised the amount of people that then say, oh well, never mind then. You've got to really be lacking in the confidence of your product if that's the way you're going with it. But no, these guys said, yep, yeah, that's fine, no problem at all. Um, we'll send you a box. And it's come pretty quickly, actually. And £22 or $22 they've spent on postage as well. So they must be quite uh, confident. I don't, I can't even remember what it is that they've sent me, so this is a bit of a surprise for all of us. So as always, fancy knife, let's get this thing opened. Okay, let's get all this out of the way. We have our box. I hope it's nothing too perishable in there or I'll just cut it in half. Uh, it says hog 0.5. I don't know if that means anything. Right, let's have a look. Okay, so we've got a brochure and um, the hang on glass, so hog. Hang on glass upflow algae scrubber. So some instructions, All right, I'll come back to that. Installation instructions and a syringe. Some packing materials, quite a lot of packing materials. It's well packed. Right, so what have we got here? So this must be the main unit. So we've got power supply, or a bit of a power supply. Interesting. So some air tubing tied to a piece of plastic with something inside it and some foam to stop scratching the glass I presume. A bit of cloth and what looks to be an LED light. So given that I've not looked at the instructions and I don't know anything about it, I'm assuming this bit with the LED light goes on the outside, this bit with the airflow and there's some perforated holes all around it, at the bottom anyway, on the sides. You hook up to an air pump, they clamp either side of the glass like that with a bit of magnet. This you connect to an air pump, bubbles float up, drawing water through the holes at the bottom of the sides and the light encourages algae growth on this or some other piece of mesh or something. Hmm. Anything else in here? I think that's it for packaging. So half a power supply. I don't know, maybe there's some rules about sending power supplies overseas or something like that. So there we have it. We've got a bit of a power supply, I think. Looks like a regular kettle lead. I'm sure I can find another half of that. So there's no air pump supplied. And this is the tank that I'm thinking of putting it in. Um, this tank, there's a window right here. This tank suffers with algae quite badly. Um, the little bit of correspondence we have had, they did tell me that this was rated for quite small tanks. Really straightforward instructions. Um, I'll read the rest of the instructions later, but essentially, I'm assuming this goes in the water, that goes on the outside of the tank, switch it on, water passes through, and you get algae growing on it. Okay, so we essentially have an algae scrubber. It comes with the airline on the back of it, which is rooted inside. Then obviously the idea is that the air line bubbles up here, drags water in through the holes, and as the water passes here and the light shines on it from the other side, the algae starts to grow. And then you can harvest the algae or scrape it off or do whatever you want. Um, it's just quite thin plastic. It's kind of like 
I don't know, a carton of butter or something like that. And it's got this magnetic felt type stuff so it doesn't scratch your glass. And then on this side you have your little LED light which I believe is going to be red. And the only other thing it comes with is this cloth which they call a shade cloth. I think the recommendation having read the instructions is that you start off covering half the light and then away you go. It's the, the instructions are pretty comprehensive and can we talk about build quality? It feels like just cheap plastic. It's kind of like a takeaway tub but it's been modified. Um, but yeah, it's an algae scrubber. What more do you want from an algae scrubber? It's discreet, it doesn't look homemade, which a lot of them do, and that can put you off. Um, it's not very bulky, so it's not gonna take up much space in your tank. Um, I'm a bit disappointed that it doesn't come with an air pump, given that I've just looked this up, and apparently this costs $100. I'm not entirely convinced any algae scrubber is going to be worth $100. But if I was paying $100, I would want to get everything that I needed, including a power adapter and the air pump. Because what's a cheap air pump's less than a tenner. But anyway, it is what it is. Um, and yes, full disclosure, I was provided this one for free. I'm not being sponsored, so if I don't like it, I'm going to say I don't like it. Um, but yeah, I'm going to give it a fair review. So I don't mean to sound ungrateful, because obviously they sent me this product for free, and I'm very thankful that you've done that. It's just I was surprised that it costs so much. Um, I've had a look online and on eBay and places like that, and there are a few other companies and people selling algae scrubbers, um, whether it's commercial operation or not, I don't know. But they are. They're, they're really expensive. I'm just quite shocked by that. So I guess if this one does the trick, then maybe it is worth the money. Maybe it's just my Scottishness showing through. Um, but yeah, at first glance, I thought I could put that together for a tenner. But maybe I'll have a go at that one day. Future video idea. Um, but yes, I just uh, I don't want to sound ungrateful. And obviously, that if that is the going rate, that is the going rate. Uh, it is what it is. And as long as it works and does what it says it does, there's no one forcing you to buy it. I think my new racking has just turned up. Let's go and see who this is. Well, I know who it is because I just showed you. Top 10 boxes. They're not the best. Alright. It's not even for you though. Hey, care. Thank you. Cheers. Nice one. See Bye. ya. See you later. Bye bye. If you remember the fish room, we've started taking apart already. So this is the fish room, as you will remember it. Um, I'm not sure how it comes across, but I can touch this tank. I can touch this tank. And I can touch these tanks without actually moving. And it's these ones that are the problem. So what I have found is that due to my severe idiocy, maybe, I cannot change water on any of these tanks without flooding the entire place. And it's because none of these tanks have overflows which are linked to the drain, which is down there. Whereas these tanks all do. So the plan is that this racking system here has worked flawlessly. Love it. It's by Big Dug. I'm going to get a matching one of these and it's going to fit in this space here. This one's going to go all together. Um, and then we'll move all these tanks here. It's a bit bigger that way as well, so we can maybe even get a few more extra tanks in, but don't tell anyone. Uh, and then we can get a fish wall, if you like. And then I put some shelving, some other racking up here for the non-fish stuff, because I've got paint and fillers and screwdrivers and all sorts of stuff down there. So that is the plan for this place. But that'll be in the next video. So make sure you click subscribe and you won't miss it when it comes out. And that bell icon, the fancy graphic down here or down there somewhere. But yes, let's get on with this unboxing and start of the review. So this is the tank I'm going to use it on. The instructions go into quite a bit of detail about 
um, sizing and what it's used for and what kind of uh, algae you can expect and how to treat different types of algae and how to use this in various situations. So it's very fairly comprehensive. Um, but yeah, this tank itself gets a lot of light from, there's a window just up here. Um, and as you can see on the rocks, I have to clean this fairly regularly to be able to see into it, but the rocks are covered in algae, which is a good thing because the shrimp love it and the shrimp are going mad in here. Um, but let's get this plugged into this. I'm going to put it on the side here so you can't actually see anything of it. Let's hope I've got a spare air pump kicking about somewhere. So this bit here goes in the tank. And this bit here goes outside the tank. You don't want to put the light and the electrics in the water, surprisingly enough. So that's it in and running. You can see it's got quite the bright red light. It's not quite as unobtrusive when it's switched on, but it's not terrible. So you can see here, I've got the top of it poking just out of the water because I wanted to keep it as quiet as possible because this is my office. Even though you can probably hear some building work going on outside. If you put it under the water, then you've got the sound of the bubbles popping up or just the same as any other air filter that you have though. So I'll just raise it up slightly. I've not put on the shield yet, but I will do that. Not the shield, the shade, the cloth. Um, so the instructions are, like I said, fairly detailed. Leave it in there, run it for a couple of weeks. Um, they talk about different lighting schedules, different timings and all that sort of stuff for different types of algae that you might get. But yeah, that's it for now. We'll just leave it running and see how we get on. So from a bit further away, it's definitely a red light. It doesn't really look very natural. It'd probably be better suited for a sump or something along those lines because then it's out of the way completely so it's not ideal for a, a display tank. But I've seen more more obtrusive filters before. So there you go, that's it, the hang on glass 0.5, hog 0.5. They do lots of different sizes. Um, by all means go and check it out, I'll leave a link in the description for where you can find out more about the company that sent it to me and the different types of filters that they send. They seem to have one for every possible scenario. Uh, check them out, see if it's anything that interests you. Um, thank you for sending me it um, and I hope it works quite well. And as always, if you've liked any of this, hit that subscribe button, like it if you like it, thumbs down if you didn't, um, and I'll see you next time. Bye! So, look out for a full review coming up in a future video once I've read the instructions and understand how to do it.